This is Unit 6, Polygons and Motion. Preview video 6.1, Polygons and Angles. Sit tall, ready? Take a deep breath, inhale. Hold. And birthday candle. Don't forget your date, time, location for your notes. So we're finally graduating to polygons. Poly meaning many-sided, which means we finally get to be beyond a three-sided shape. We have literally been camped out on the humble triangle for almost two complete months. And that's why triangles are so incredibly important, but we are getting beyond three triangles now. So you need to know the basic nomenclature, how to talk about many sided shapes. So the prefix tri, that's where we get triangle. Quadri, four sides, quadrilateral, one, two, three, doesn't matter how many. Then we have a penta, penta is five. And you have a pentagon. Think of a baseball home plate. And you have a hexagon. Hexa is six. Hepta is seven. Octa is eight. Nana is nine. Deca is ten. So hepta is seven. We call that a hepta gone. Octa is eight. Octa gone. Nana is nine. Nana gone. Deca is ten. Deca gone. Usually there are Latin names for ones above, but generally when we get above ten, we just call it an 11 gone, 12 gone. There are fancy names. For example, a 12 con is called a do deca gone. That do means two. But above 11, we just do 11 gone, 13 gone, 14 gone. Definition of a polygon is if you have a many sided shape, you have a polygon. The word regular means equal. So this would be a pentagon. If it's regular, we have congruent sides angles, then it is regular. So a regular pentagon would look something more like this, where all the sides and all the angles were equal. That would be defined regular. Now we need to talk about the difference between convex versus concave. You may have come across these terms with glasses or lenses. Convex lens concentrates light. Concave lens diffuses light. So maybe you learned about convex and concave in the term of glass lenses. But in geometry, convex is a shape. One, two, three, four, five. Believe it or not, that's called a pentagon. One, two, three, four. Five. That's also a pentagon, but con, whoops, I got those backwards. Convex, one, two, three, four, five. All the sides push outward, push outward. Versus concave, one, two, three, four, five. You have a side that pushes inward, 
That's called concave, like cave in. All the equations that we're going to learn today only works for convex polygons. Anything that has pushed in sides, these equations won't work. So convex polygons you're familiar with would be parallelograms, convex decagons, convex pentagons. So right here, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We would call this a heptagon. This parallelogram. This decagon, this pentagon. These are all examples of convex polygons. We're going to be talking about a very simplistic set of four equations that are related specifically to the angles of polygons. First, we have to check out this pattern here. So in this first one, one, two, three, four, we have a quadrilateral. It has four sides. When you connect one diagonal to the opposite corner, you end up with two triangles. One, two, two triangles. Each of those triangles is 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles is going to be 2 times 180, which is 360. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a pentagon. So pentagon, we have one, two, three triangles. When you connect from a single corner only. So I have five sides. I have three triangles. So we do three times 180, which is 540. And this last one. Hexagon, six sides. When I draw in the diagonals from a single corner, one, two, three, I have one, two, three, four triangles, 180 each. Four triangles, so we do four times 180, we get 720. So there's a pattern you're noticing. Look at this pattern you're noticing. If you have four sides, it creates two triangles. If you have five sides, it creates three triangles. If you have six sides, it creates four triangles. So what we notice about the number of sides to the number of triangles, four minus two is two, 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, that to get the number of triangles, we take the number of sides minus 2, that gets us the number of triangles, and then each triangle is 180, and that gets you what is called the sum of the interior angles. So here's the basic concept for any polygon. We use the number of sides, number, we're going to use the word N for number of sides, 
minus 2, that gets the number of triangles, times 180. That gets you the sum of the interior angles of a, any polygon. So this is the sum. Now, if I want a single one and they're all equal, let's say I have an equal pentagon, all equal sides, and I want to know what a single angle is, and I know that all those angles are equal. I take the sum, which would be n minus 2 times 180, and I simply divide by the number of sides. So, and this is only if it's regular, which means all equal. I take the sum and I divide by the sides. Equation looks like this. N minus 2 times 180 over N. That is for a single interior angle. Now I want to talk about what's exterior. What's an exterior angle? <coughs> if I take this shape and I start extending the sides, I'm going to go counterclockwise, just extend the side. Keep going, counterclockwise, extend, 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 extend. These angles on the outside, those are called exterior angles when you extend the side. So extend. So now your image looks like the one to the right. I want you to notice, I'd like you to sweep these. See, that's angle one, two, three, four, five, and six, that if you take those angles and roll them into each other, you're going to get 360. So the exterior angles, these exterior angles, if you put them together like pizza slices, regardless of the number of sides, will always be 360. That's exterior angles. And if I want a single one and it's regular, you simply do sum over sides, which is going to be 360 over n. So there's four equations you are going to have to learn, four of them. I'm going to say them and you say them. Sum interior one interior, some exterior, one exterior. There's four of them, say it with me. Some interior, some one interior, some exterior, one exterior. To help you remember this, We've got a jingle based on a nursery rhyme called Three Blind Mice. Just in case you've never heard it before, it's a little on the gruesome side, as is many fairy tale, or as are many fairy tales, but the jingle will get stuck in your head, which is exactly what I want. Here is the Three Blind Mice song. In about 45 seconds from now, you will be singing, my friends. Yes, you will be. Ready? Here are the four equations. We're just going to write the equations, and then we're going to sing. Ready? Here we go. Watch. 
the sum of the interior angles, sides minus 2, times 180. Here's the equation. We're going to just write sum interior equals sides minus 2 times 180. We use the variable of n for sides, n for sides. The sum of the exterior angles will always be 360. So sum exterior angles will always be 360. Each angle of a regular polygon sum over sides. Ain't this fun? Regular, just make note, regular means you have all congruent angles. There's two versions of sum over side. There's the interior and the exterior. So just we're just going to do both versions. Sum interior sum it's not sum it's one one interior one exterior we have right here One interior is sides minus 2 times 180 over the number of sides. One exterior equals 360 over the number of sides. So we have a total of four equations. The sum of the interior angles, sum of the exterior angles, one interior angle, one exterior angle. We're singing, friends, goes like this. And then you're, uh, we'll do it twice. You're singing with me. The sum of interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. The sum of exterior angles will always be 360. Each angle of a regular polygon, sum over sides, ain't this fun. The sum of interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. Got the bouncing ball here? You're going to sing with me. With me. The sum of interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. The sum of exterior angles will always be 360. Each angle of a regular polygon, sum over sides, ain't this fun, the sum of interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. Yeah, we're singing this in class. So you better get used to it. Before we do some actual problems, there are key words you need to watch out for. I'm just going to write them. Here are your key words, seven key words or phrases. Interior, exterior, regular, sum, one or each, is, are, was, were, which constitute equal signs, and then the specific number gone that we're dealing with. So as we do the next problems, if you see any one of these seven words, or phrases, it's important you underline them so that tells you which of the four equations that we're working with. The equations are some interior, some exterior, one interior, one exterior. I'm going to do five with you, and then you're going to do four on your own, and we'll go over it.
says right here, what is the measure of a single interior angle of a regular decagon? So first you ask yourself, interior or exterior? Interior. Next question, sum or one? One. So we go to the one interior angle, which is sides minus two times 180 over sides, sum over sides. Now, and we know we can do that because it's regular and it's a decagon. Deca means 10. So that means our number of sides is 10. So 10 minus 2 times 180 over 10. This is going to be, get your hand off that calculator, kiddos. This is going to be 8 times 180 over 10. And the key to multiplying is not multiplying, it's factoring. So I can take that 10 into 180 and get 18. Then longhand, I simply do 8 times 18. So a single interior angle of a decagon is 144 degrees, if it's regular. First, we finger track and read. Put here, read, lips moving. Ready? Read. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 1260. What is the polygon called? Ready? Keywords. Sum interior polygon. Believe it or not, the most important word here is is. Why is is? The most important word, because is, is an equal sign. And that means you have an equation. What is the polygon called? The minute you see the word poly, poly is generic for N, meaning you don't know the number of sides. You don't know N. So if you see the phrase polygon, your N or your number of sides is unknown. So we write here the sum of interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. Equations have two sides with an equal sign. Equations have two sides with an equal sign. So the sum is goes right here, 1260 equals sides minus 2 times 180. So now I'm going to solve for the number of sides. I'm going to divide out that 180. And I can kill the zeros here. And then you can start dividing things out, reducing. We're going to do this without a calculator. So I'm going to start with 2 because it's even. So 2, this is 9, 2 goes in there 63 times. And then if you know your 9's fingers, all right, what gets you 63 is 7. So I know that if this cancels on the left, I have 7 equals n minus 2. Now I simply add to both sides. So my number of sides is nine. We're not done because I ask you, what's the name? And the name of a nine-sided shape is a nana gone. Nana gone. Nana gone. The measure of a single exterior angle of a regular polygon is 60. What is that polygon called? Is, is an equal sign. 
exterior and it's a single one. So one exterior angle. Come over here. One exterior angle is right there. One exterior angle is 360 over N. I'm going to replace with my one exterior angle with 60. So I have 60 equals 360 over N. Cross multiply. I have 60N equals 360. N equals 6. What is that called? A, 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 hexa, gone. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon, the sum is 1440. That's an equal sign. What is this polygon called? So you go, the sum of interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. Sum interior angles, sides minus 2 times 180. That goes over here. Sides minus 2 times 180. So we're going to divide by 180 to get rid of that. Kill the zeros. I'm going to divide both by 9. 9 goes in there twice. 9 goes in to 14 once. With 5 left over, 54, that's going to be 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. So I'm going to have 8 equals n minus 2. So I add 2, add 2, n equals 10. That means it is a decagon. Four of the five interior angles of a pentagon are 180, 140, 150. Find the measure of the fifth angle. So it's a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. One of the angles is 100. One's 80. One is 140. One is 150, and you're being asked, what is this angle right here, that last angle? Well, this would be so easy if it was a triangle because you knew, or you know, triangles always add up to 180. So the question is this, what would a pentagon always add up to? What would the sum of the interior angles be of a pentagon? Sides minus 2 times 180. Do that in the margin. So we know our sum is 540. But we have here 180, 140, and 150. That's 0, 12, 17, 18. that's going to be 4. So this is 540 minus 470. Fourteen there, that's seven, zero. So the last angle is seventy. These three you're gonna do on your own. 
pause the video, then get a red pen and restart. Pause the video. Alrighty, friends. You should have a red pen. Correcting in red pen says here, find the sum of the interior angles of an what's called an icosagon. That's a 20-sided. So you do sum of interior angles. Sides minus 2 times 180. You just pop in 20 there. Get 18 times 180. We did that long here. You should have gotten 32, 3,240. Leave that up there for 10 seconds for you to correct your work, not copy, correct, not copy. You should have already done your work. Find X. Well, you first had to define, you first had to find the sum of the interior angles. So the sum of the interior angles, because it's a hexagon, was 720. You add it up, take it away. This last angle here should have gotten 123. 10 seconds for you to correct your work. This one right here, the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 140. What's it called? So 140 is a 1 interior angle, n minus 2 times 180 over n. You put the 140 there, you cross multiply, you solve for n, and n equals 8. And you have yourself an octagon. We have one exterior angle. 72 degrees, so one exterior angle is 360 over N. Pop in that exterior angle, 72. Cross multiply, solve for N. It's a five-sided shape called a pentagon. You want to do your summary, and then you two ways to turn this in. Either you take screenshots and load to the link on ClassKick if you want to leave your notes at home, or simply turn them into the physical tray inside of class.